It's been an immense challenge working in the ICU without any parents being able to visit. It's just words exchanged over the phone. It's so hard for them to understand how their child's case could have become critical, and in some cases, unfortunately, the child might die. We've been able to connect these families via video. The staff got together and brought tablets and phones. Then we started to make video calls from inside of the ICU so as to allow at least some contact with the children. The doctor said, my dear, don't worry. There's no need for a COVID test. It's probably just a minor sore throat. I keep thinking a COVID test could have saved my son because then he would have received proper treatment. But the doctor simply didn't want to. He just gave a diagnosis of the top of his head. We have a serious problem detecting cases. We don't have enough tests for the general population, even fewer for children. Because there is a delay in the diagnosis, there is a delay in care for the child. So only when they are already seriously ill do we get a diagnosis. The most vulnerable are black children and those from very poor families. These are the children most at risk of death. <laughs> 